you gave me some homework sunday night uh-huh. and it turned my world inside out when i came sunday night or evening uh as i looked in i could drop behind my personality i could drop into deeper space and drop into the witness and the beautiful experiences that i've had but you asked me a very simple question and i mentioned you know as anchored in my personality and you said what if you weren't anchored and that grabbed me yeah. and it turned me upside down so the report i have is every moment is an invitation and in that invitation is a timeless one and as it delights there's the eternal witness and in front of that is the appearance personality body actions and it's just extraordinary and i'm not saying that i grab that invitation every moment but there have been so many beautiful moments that i guess what i'm saying is i can now start from there before i started as a personality or at myself and tried to drop in <coughs> but i think the pointing that i that you gave was what if you started from now fresh from the timeless and then as it evolves as it flows forth if it wants it flows forth like this or not and that that's all i have to say okay <laughs> good It's a very important aspect of uh, how this expression is sharing satsang. Not to start with the presumption of personhood, but to see fresh what is your true inside. And I'm happy I heard this feedback from some of you that this is what you're hearing actually, because many times I keep saying this, but it is still being heard from the pretense of personhood, and then the idea of finding god from that position you see which can seem like a very cumbersome process what if there's a elevator <laughs> is it that elevator is available right now to see that actually my truest starting position is the self and all idea of destination was mythical that's basically what i'm saying and all the apparent movement is included in the self we cannot leave it and yet all things can appear and disappear within it and i'm very happy also that i requested all of you not to take my word for anything and i don't feel like you're doing that you're using these as pointers and checking for yourself and remaining with your truth also i like some of you who didn't succumb to any peer pressure and said what was true to your experience i appreciate that a lot see because in this our relationship is full of integrity see if we start following and we start saying okay he said i am awareness so i should not sound lower than that or something like that then it can become another game see i'm very happy and with this integrity all auspiciousness can only arise it is when we start playing games with ourselves that it can seem like the journey is long winding when you have this integrity in your heart my truest insight is that i am still a person this is good enough for me this is very good for me actually okay? because then we have resonance between what is really going on and what the mouth is saying you see otherwise many times 
hear something something else but mouth is saying i am the pure witnessing of you like that so i appreciate very much that some of you just stayed with your own truth did not succumb to any peer pressure of the remaining 70 whatever in the room it's very very courageous and must be applauded actually it must be applauded